then that's what we have to do. Kia ora. I call Joan Hayes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Today we begin our celebrations of the 125th suffrage anniversary with the breakfast. Our two keynote speakers, fabulous woman, Honourable Anne Herkes and the former Prime Minister, Dame Honourable Jenny Shipley. Both left us with some pearls of wisdom and one I shall recite. As Dame Jenny noted, it's not the one you think it is. <laughs> As Dame Jenny noted in her speech, she said, we should focus on fighting for something, for something, rather than fighting with each other. And that's what I have heard in the speeches that have given, been given here today, is that we should focus on fighting for something rather than fighting with each other. Yeah. Madam Speaker, I stand in remembrance of a remarkable woman, Kate Shepherd, who against all odds, both personal and, and public, fought and won the right for New Zealand women to vote. The date, 1893, the person who signed the new electoral um, act into law was a guy called Governor Lord Glasgow. One would think that post-1893, the pathway for women would be sweet, a sweet, sweet ride. But it wasn't, and it hasn't been. Being the first in the world to give women the vote is a proud position to be in. But really, how far have we come over these last 125 years? From 1893, it took 26 years before women gained the right to stand for Parliament, and another 14 years before the first woman MP in the name of Elizabeth McCombs from Christchurch would enter Parliament. Countries like Ireland and Finland beat New Zealand to these two facts, even though suffrage for them came some 25 years plus later. For Māori women, the journey would be longer. It wasn't until 1935 that the first Māori woman stood as a candidate. In that year, Rehutai Maihi contested the Northern Māori seat. Older Māori, who um, did not believe that she should do that, went against her and she only garnered 162 votes. In 1949, Iriaka Bratana became the first Māori woman to win a seat in the New Zealand Parliament. When she successfully contested the Western Māori seat, her husband, who had previously held the seat, had died um, earlier that year. She retained that seat until 1969. In 1949, Katarina Nutana also stood for Western Māori as, a, um, as an independent, but she too faced criticism and failed. Other women known to have contested Māori seats include Hinerapa Ropiha, who stood for Southern Māori in 1957, and Fina Kupa, who stood for Northern Māori in 1963. In 1967, Fetu Tirikatne was elected Member of Parliament for Southern Māori and retained the seat for 26 years. Like Iriaka Ratana, she too followed a family tradition. Sandra Lee, she stood for the Alliance, she was the Alliance candidate and she won the Auckland Central seat in 1993. She was the first Māori woman to hold a general seat in New Zealand. That's not true. Following Sandra came in 1996 to 2011 Dame Georgina Tehuhu of the Tuwhare Toranga Tira line Tehuhu and a Cabinet Minister. 1999 to 2007, the first transsexual MP, Georgina Baya, also ex-Mayor of Carterton and won the Wairarapa seat. In 1996 to 2014, Dame Honourable Tariana Turia, the founder of the Whanau Water Policy and founder of the Māori Party. In 2008 to 2017, Honourable Hekia Parata, the first Māori woman um, Minister for Education. In 2005 to the present day, the Honourable Paula Bennett entered Parliament for National and in 2016 became the first Māori woman Deputy Prime Minister and Deputy Leader of the National Party. And that is a, a brief rendition of the many Māori women that have come before us. These are but a few of our Māori women heroines. There are many others of us who continue to fight the good fight in so many ways as we continue to shape the future pathway for all women. I'm going to conclude my speech right now because I know I'm running out of time with these salient words from an amazing woman by the name of Helen Reddy. It goes, I am a woman, hear me roar, in numbers too big to ignore, and I know too much to go back and pretend because I've heard it all before and I've been down there on the floor. No one ever gonna 
keep me down again. Oh, yes, I am wise, but it's wisdom born of pain. Yes, I've paid the price, but look how much I gained. If I have to, I can do anything. I am strong. I am invincible. I am woman. He waka eke noa. We're all in this together. Kia ora. Tēnā koutou. The Honourable Rebecca Whaitu. A te whare tēnā koe, ngā memba, tēnā tatou katoa. Mr Speaker, I am really pleased to take a call in.